you're getting fast data supported feedback that directly will improve your results. Uh, it helps you move beyond the assumptions of what works. It gives you specific insights mm -hmm. and it tells you which messages will resonate, which will fall flat. And most importantly, it tells you why. Welcome to our super short show. Today we're diving into an AI system that's helping marketers and sales teams. We call it the buyer's table. Getting quick, realistic customer feedback is absolutely essential for staying competitive and boosting your results. So these old school research methods like surveys and focus groups, they just can't keep up with current launch speeds. So waiting weeks for feedback typically means you're potentially launching campaigns that completely miss the mark. Yeah, that's right. And that's where the buyer's table comes in. It's an AI persona panel that allows you to test your marketing and sales materials against realistic buyer voices in minutes, not months. Uh, think of it as having a round the clock panel of your ideal customers ready to review your materials when you need them. And, and it's simple to use, right, Kelly? You, mm -hmm. one, you, you just, you pick your buyer types. So you select from specific roles that mirror your actual customers. You submit any asset meaning you can share your website copy, you can share your website images, your email campaigns, sales presentations, call scripts, landing pages, product messages, even ask like theoretical questions. Mm -hmm. And and then you get instant instant feedback. Uh, why don't we jump into a, a demo? Yeah, take us there. Here's where we keep our tables. Right here, we're looking at a table of metal fabricators. These are typical buyers that you would encounter if you're selling to a mid-sized metal fabrication shop. You have Ryan here, who is the owner, and you have his all of his managers here. So they would be involved in a purchasing decision of, of major proportions. The next step is we're going to pose a question to them, right? We're getting ready to launch our new line of fiber laser cutting machines. Next generation fiber lasers offer faster, more precise, yada, 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 right? Mm -hmm. The question we're asking them here is help us understand what we need to show on our website via copy images or video that would appeal to you as a buyer. And then we select the buyer's table that we want to use, in this case, the metal fabricators, right? And then we click run. So after so after you run it, uh, this is where all the feedback comes in from the buyers at the table, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. So this will run, this will take about, it's thinking, it'll, it'll take about 60 seconds to go through because each, each buyer is not one prompt, this is, multiple prompts with each persona has their own dedicated LLM to come back and answer these questions. So you have like, we have one persona on Claude, one persona on Gemini, one persona perplexity, things like that, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. We mixed it up. All right. So it's back, it's back with the answers, right? So let's see what Ryan has to say. So Ryan's the owner of this theoretical fabricating shop and all right. Fiber laser cutting machines, eh? <laughs> so a? He, wants, a, he wants to see real shop examples, video and images. Forget the fancy graphics. Show me real parts being cut, brackets, frames, and the kind of stuff we do here at Iron Supports. He wants to see speed demos, material versatility, and then he's he's a bottom line kind of guy, right? How much, yeah. how soon, pricing, installation, and lead time. Was Thomas Cook cooking? Thomas Cook is cooking up, uh, he's a production manager over there, and he wants to see some quantifiable performance metrics, cutting speed and precision. So he's given some good good information here, like what, what you can outline on your on your website or your your any kind of your sales materials, like cutting speed and precision, material versatility, energy consumption. He wants to see operational efficiency, which and costs, which includes energy consumption, maintenance requirements, automation and ease of use. Uh, case studies, you'd like to see ROI calculations. Okay. It's very specific what they're, what he's looking for. Yeah. Visual demonstrations. And then, okay. We got Brian here. Brian is the wel welding supervisor, lead welder. Oh, look at him. He's got some no BS metric percent. Yeah. I like I put that no BS. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny, right? Um, yeah, like that. So I, I just, one thing I want to point out here, this is really, this is pretty interesting because there's no link to a website here. We didn't give the these guys any links to any website to look at. All we did is we posed that question. 
And he's coming back with very specific, precise, detailed information that he wants to see. Look, he wants to see the size of the kerf. He wants to see the surface finish ready for powder coating. And okay, that's 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 pretty funny because it that gives me flashbacks when I owned a <laughs> my manufacturing firm. We worked with a lot of uh, metal fabricators and one thing they'd always tell us is like, okay, yeah, this is how much it costs to cut and weld and put it together. But if you want to powder coat it, oh, well, that's a whole nother process. We got to get ready for powder coating. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember. Um, and he, look, he even gave it, he even built a table here. It says, look, he wants to see that this material, this thickness and the cutting speed for each thing. That That's great. I like that. This is really, really incredible, useful information. That if you were if you were building a campaign or, you know, I'm, we're getting ready to launch this, like wow, this this stuff I, instantly we got this feedback. And then we have Justin here, who is the manufacturing engineer, and he's detailed out what he would like to see. So, uh, th this is what do you think of this, Kelly? I mean. I just think the real value here of what we're seeing, other than you could build out your own personas for the buyer table, is that you're getting fast data supported feedback that directly will improve your results. Uh, it helps you move beyond the assumptions of what works. It gives you specific insights mm -hmm. and it tells you which messages will resonate, which will fall flat. And most importantly, it tells you why. And there's so many use cases for this. So like for marketing teams specifically, the buyer's table offers incredible benefits. I say this with a smile because it touches my marketing heart. Um, you test campaigns before spending money on ads. You can boost your conversion rates with pre-tested messages, reduce campaign creation time by getting timely answers like we just demoed. And as we mentioned again before, reviewing any of your marketing assets like landing pages, blogs, even your website, you can get instant feedback on. Yeah, yeah. We didn't want to air anyone's dirty laundry, but we've done this on websites and landing pages for clients and passed it on to them. And the feedback was phenomenal they just loved it uh, so and and this is just as powerful for sales teams so you could spot and fix objections in your sales proposals and in your sales presentations before they even come up on a call you can create winning talking points um, sales decks you can even you know because this can lead to to shorten your sales cycle and help you know increase the accuracy of of your pipeline forecast and if you're an agency, oh my gosh. I mean, you could offer <laughs> right. high profit research services with this and you could deliver client ready insights quickly and test concepts before showing them to clients. Because I mean, you remember when you used to show something to a client and they'd be like, well, I don't, I don't, how do we know that'll work? And, and the answer is like, well, we don't know. We got to put it out there and find out. But, or why did you do that? Well, you can just show them, look, here's the feedback we got. We put this before your ideal buyer personas and here's the feedback we got on this versus on A versus B, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm, yeah. Yeah, and what's really great about this is that now this is accessible to businesses of all sizes. In the past, something like this would cost at least $10,000, not the system, but like to do a study because we've done them, they were ten thousand dollars, and it took at least two months to put together an ideal persona study group. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is something that came out of our community. Rick and I uh, built this with our community, and mm -hmm. the members they each have their own buyers table, uh, all that's custom to their needs. And we're also building this out for other businesses. So if you're interested in building your own unique buyer's table, definitely leave us a comment below or you can click the link and you can get started there. Or join our community. <laughs> or join our community because we'd love to have you. Yeah. So thank you for watching our super short show. Bye. Thanks. Bye.